Eh, sí, buenas tardes. Good afternoon. We're here once again this morning. I was down there, now I'm up here. That is why I changed my shirt. But it's the same person. I'm the same one who was at the LACNIC Technical Forum. I'm more serious now. I'm wearing a shirt. So thank you very much, everyone, for joining us at this time of the day. We have had some casualties in combat yesterday with a social event, some distractions, flight changes. We don't have such a great turnout, but hopefully this will be interesting. Now, in fact, we want to present our report as we normally do, but in this case, we have relevant information that we would like to share with the community. So. It is a pleasure to work with you to be here this afternoon. So something is wrong with the slides. They are sort of overlapping. Let's see. That's a corrupt file, I think. So the file has not been updated. Both things happen. So let me tell you something. Once upon a time, this is the uh, sit seated at the edge of your chairs. <laughs> so once upon a time, there was a chat. Estos son los momentos en que uno quiere que se lo trague la tierra. So, these are those moments that we don't really like. But there was an error with the file in the web. <laughs> okay, I'll change shirts again. I think it was updated in the website, but not the one that you are showing on the screen. Bueno, en, en la web está bien. ¿Eh? Dice Jordi que está bien. Entonces, si Jordi lo dice, está bien. Jordi says it's right, so he must be right. aprovechar el tiempo aunque sea bailar aquí no siempre uno puede bailar en un escenario con la expectativa que has generado ahora now everybody's uh, everybody has high expectations you can't disappoint us well for those for those of you who stay here in the room, you'll you'll be invited. You can have a beer. Bien, no, bien, bien. Las cosas de la vida. 
Well, that's the way life is. Ah, pero esa era la sorpresa. Well, that was the surprise. Please, could you go back to the first slide? Ah, I should handle it here. Okay. All right. Since the problem has been solved, as I was telling you, we are going to tell you about some things this afternoon. There's an important uh, topic that we wanted to share with the community. So, in principle, we are the uh, um, ASO. We support uh, ICANN. And indistinctively, and we are that, and we are the number council of the uh, number uh, resource organization. So it's it's the same. We are an advisory body that provides advice on uh, number resources policy, and we are three members per region. So there's 15 of us. If we consider that the internet is divided, the world. Uh, of the internet is divided into five regions, and um, we uh, and we also have observers of the uh, uh, IRRs and ICANN. So we are advisors of uh, the board of ICANN, and we oversee the global development of policy. We also appoint the members for ICANN's board, and uh, we appoint. A member for the non-com of ICANN. We meet on a monthly basis at least once, and uh, we also get uh, together once a year. These are the people uh, this year. You may see that there's nobody representing Afrinic now because of some legal issues that they are going through. They haven't been able to uh, assign the members for this uh, period. So now we don't have them. In the case of Europe, it's ripe. They only have two representatives at present, Constance and Hervé. We hope that in a future months, they will appoint a new, a third person to complete the annual term to provide a greater stability at work. In this case, the chair, um, is uh, our uh, right Hervé Clément, Clément and uh, the vice chairs are Ricardo Patara, who's uh, the vice president. This is the second year in a row, and uh, also Nicole Chan of APNIC. So here we are. How beautiful. Well, I wanted to show new pictures. But we didn't get them on time, so these are old pictures. The three people in this body representing Latin America and the Caribbean are Esteban, who is appointed by the board, and Ricardo and myself that are uh, appointed by the community. So the three of us are in charge of this work for the Latin America and the Caribbean community. This is one of the reasons why we are updating this. We are always overseeing the development of policy in all uh, the IRRs, seeing the possibility of uh, any uh, policy proposed uh, on a global basis, and uh, they go through a process that we uh, supervise. In this case, uh, the uh, team that facilitates the proposals uh, uh, of uh, the uh, policy, there are three people. They should appoint one more person to complete the work. So this is the team. As to the annual meetings, they are open in person. And the, we uh, we have a mailing list. We we exchange views uh, in the mail, and everything is filed, so you can uh, 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 check them. And we meet the first Wednesday each month. So, if you are interested in knowing how this works, well, there you have the options. At present, we have appointed our. Positions 9 and 10 of uh, the board of ICON. Position 9 
2021-2022, we have Alan Barrett of APNIC. Of Afrinic. No, oh, this is terrible. And um, Christian Kaufman representing Ripe. They are so restless. So, position nine of Icon is uh, occupied by Alan Barrett of Afrinic that will complete his term in 2024, and Christian Kaufman of Europe. For the 2023-2025 uh, period, these are the two no, uh, people appointed so far. So, and uh, in the list, in the announced list, uh, you must have seen that uh, from in the period re going from September to December, you must have seen uh, the announcement requesting uh, for nominations for the Icon Board. So it's a process that took from September to December. There, it's a, th This was the timetable. And last week, well, this week precisely, we finished the voting for the final election of the person who will be taking that chair for in the next period. Next week, we will make this public. I can't tell you yet, but the voting has been completed, and we are just making some uh, internal tweaks in the organization in ICANN. So, the last thing that I'd like to tell you is uh, that we saw a need to revisit our procedures because as it uh, typically happens in the organizations you review things uh, the procedures but as things change sometimes the processes were written in such as in a very specific uh, moment to meet the needs of a certain time but then they no longer work so we had to work hard to uh, review all uh, the procedures and uh, make necessary changes so that we could continue to work uh, at uh, with current conditions that are a bit different. And this refers to the quorum for decision making uh, for uh, a policy development of policy and uh, to clarify the procedures and uh, how the, uh, the uh, ICON board is voted. So far, the, well, this is what I wanted to tell you. But the good thing, uh, but now Ricardo Patara is going to uh, shed light on the rest. So I give the floor to him. Hello, good afternoon. Well, as Jorge pointed out, I'm the other person elected by the community to represent our region in ASO. And um, what I was asked uh, to tell you about is the other work that the group uh, is uh, has in its hands, and we've started early this year on ISP2. What is ICP2? ICP2. But even before ICON was created, there were already three regional internet registries. Uh, just as uh, LACNIC does, APNIC, ARIN, and RIPE NCC. And there's a timeline there of when ICON was created, and at the time they created the image of support organizations. ASO is, uh, is one of uh, those um, supporting ICON. In uh, 1999, they already had uh, the idea of creating two more regional uh, registries for geographic areas that had no representatives, Afrinic and uh, LACNIC. And at the time, the, they saw a need to uh, draft a document uh, to specify the issues that an organization must meet if they 
wanted to be a regional registry. And in between 2000 and 2001, the groups at the time started to work. The, uh, uh, ASO AC, a support, an icon support organization, decided what uh, the document should look like. With the support of ICON, who accepted the document and created the criteria, what are the items that need to be met by an organization willing to act as a regional registry, and that is ICP2. Internet coordination policy number two, because uh, ICP one uh, already existed and it deals with other things. That was in 2001, more than 20 years ago. Now, as a long time has gone by, we are, we saw the need to uh, re revisit uh, that document. The internet change, organizations change, and so did the users. And recently. We saw some situations in particular, as Jorge said, uh, internally in the regions showing there was a need to revisit the document that had been drafted over 20 years ago because there were some uh, uh, issues that needed to be adjusted or improved. In October 2023, the uh, number uh, the resource organization, the NRO, the four RIRs, has requested the address council to do two things. First, the first was to review a document uh, written in describing the procedure to implement. Well, uh, the um, ICP2 exists since 2001, and it is a guideline as to how to create and approve uh, an RIR. But until then, there was no, there were no procedures to implement the uh, processes described there. So, NROAC requested. Uh, um, uh, to analyze those uh, procedures and to create a group to strengthen CP2, the existing uh, document. And there we started work. In January 2024, the group met in Uruguay to review the process and the results were presented in the month of February. In the month of March at an ICANN meeting, the group met once again in order to begin with the following task, to review the ICP2 document and to propose the adjustments and improvements that were required. And one of the first results was to define a timeline for the ICP2, which would be from 2024, we already started to work until mid-2025. So this would be the timeline. I'm not going to read this out, but let me highlight some of the points. What I already mentioned in February and in March this year, we worked on determining the timeline and the required steps to be taken during those that stage. Then we developed a document on principles. This is what we're going to do to see what we have in ICP2, namely the fundamental principles that have to main, be maintained in the new version, but to maybe add further principles that will now be required for the new document. In addition to that, there are further steps through to June 2025 when the process will be completed. All these points will be in, are in the presentation, and you can read these afterwards. But let me refer to this other slide that shows the main milestones for the community. The first is in the month of August. We're quite close. And I want to mention this. You'll be informed about that. So a call is made for consultations. This is for the principles that I mentioned, the ones that have to be included in the document. The community will consult it about this. You can all state your opinion, propose, and make comments to the points that we have there. These comments will begin in August 2024. Between September and November, the group 
ACOAC will collect all the information received during the consultation and begin a awareness raising process, namely telling the community that these are the comments that we received and will continue to work. We'll promote participation to further disseminate this process. Between December 2024 and January 2025, the group, considering all the comments received in August in the first consultation, will prepare a draft document will be then opening a second consultation. This is no longer regarding the principles, but rather regarding the draft document for this policy. Between February and April 2025, the idea is to present this draft to the community, including the input we received during the consultation stage, and finally, advance towards the final version in June 2025, where this will be presented to the Honor OEC, which requested this review, but also to ICANN, who will then review it and take the relevant steps. So this would be the timeline that I wanted to highlight. These are the main milestones that involve the community. So please pay attention to this. I think this was all, yes? All right, thank you very much. Any questions? Please let us know if you wish to make any comments or questions. We will nevertheless be around to discuss the timeline and the document during this meeting. Thank you.